what's up guys it's your girl kashia and i am back with another video thank you for coming to my channel to watch my videos don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new then welcome and if you don't know obviously if you're new you don't know that i am a patient care tech in a hospital on a med surge unit and i am also officially a nursing student i'm bringing you guys along on my journey to nursing this video is going to be a first week um of nursing school vlog and right now i have like orientation and guys obviously it's covid so i have virtual orientation virtual classes but my labs will be um in class so today is just orientation it is from 8 30 a.m to 4 30 p.m right now it's 8 15 so i have 15 more minutes um i woke up at like 7 a.m i got my room together because like as you guys can see this is this is i'm sitting at my desk right now and i'm pretty sure that people are going to be able to see my background so i had to like tidy it up so this is just my desk area right here um i need a mouse pad i've been using my book for a mouse pad but this is like my orientation little what we're going to be going over but i literally this is my schedule I literally organized this is like my whole semester right here guys in my folder it's like crazy um this packet was so thick it's like just our modules this is my schedule and then here's my little to-do board and then here's my freaking schedule for the whole month so and then here's my little lights so far orientation is pretty good like it's really really giving us a lot of clarity and i thought i was the only one that was like super nervous super confused but apparently not like there's literally people asking so many questions that i kind of had so i'm like mm, well this is okay um all my questions are kind of getting answered so i don't feel like you know so nervous or like bad that i'm like why do i feel like all over the place like am i the only one that feels like this but no um guys y'all like i look crazy i had to throw in a little bit of makeup because i had to look a little bit alive i wasn't gonna put on any makeup my face has been like breaking out starting to break out all over again right here on my cheeks so i'm like no i'm gonna let my face breathe but i'm like no nah, i look a little dead so let me put on some makeup oh my hair is in a bun i love my bun that's my go-to but um i wanted to show you guys my book bag um it came in the mail i got it from amazon and i love this book bag it's like i love it it has this strap here that i can hold it like this and then it has the backpack part here and then i love that this it has like this little compartment back here um and then when you open it you see how deep it is like oh my god you see how deep it is i actually showed this on instagram that's why you guys need to follow me on instagram um and they have little pockets here um what else they have this compartment here and compartment here for my laptop i love it and also the best part is it's water resistant also this compartment here lots of compartments water bottle holders i love it what is up guys i literally just got back from going to the store with my sister it is 8 24. my hair looks a crazy mess but i didn't eat since um we had our like lunch break so i got food we got food from longhorn so i'm going to eat and then i'll probably just like show you guys me doing my reading assignments so yeah i'm already slacking like get it together i gotta get it together because this is nothing to play with oh my god this pimple is just getting bigger and bigger look at these my face looks so bad guys so bad but i'm getting it together i'm getting it together up good morning i know y'all probably like what the heck your hair was in a bun yesterday and now it's curl 
Last night, I went to bed so late because I was doing my readings and taking notes and then I also did my hair because I was tired of it being in a bun. Um, my curls are not really trying to cooperate, but it's cool. I'm about to just kind of finish up some stuff that I didn't do last night with reading and just go over a few things before lecture and look at the PowerPoints to make sure I kind of got all of the like key points from the reading. So I'm about to do that. I probably should eat something, but what's up guys? what's up guys i'm so sleepy guys like yesterday i um had orientation from 8 30 a.m to 4 30 p.m so like that literally took all day i feel like orientation has like made things a lot more clear because I was like super nervous didn't know what to expect like didn't know if I was like doing things right and like they just cleared it up a lot so I feel really really good about that um in today's lecture it's almost over we're on break right now it's gonna it's over at 12 30 we're just doing health assessments right now so just like how to do a full um head to toe assessment things that we need for assessments and like things to look out for all right y'all um i changed my shirt because it's it got hot in the morning when i get on for class it's like cold freezing cold in here i mean every morning it's cold in my house so i'm about to go get um buy this book from this girl on our um school like there's like a Facebook page for people who go to like my school and we can like connect and see if like anybody has textbook that we need So I'm about to go buy this textbook from her. I just got my essential health assessment book um, And then I'm actually about to go back and meet her again because she has The other books that I need so I really am all set now at this point um, And she's only giving me the books for $20 like Y'all don't understand how much money I saved uh, on books. Like my books cost about over a thousand dollars, and I, I don't even think I paid anywhere near that. Actually, I think the only thing I really, only thing I really paid for was like the sixty dollars because, yo. Shout out to my girl Kim because she gave me like she just gave me her books that she used, so um I didn't have to pay for them. And then I'm just about to go buy these books for $60. Like, this is crazy, amazing. I'm so excited about it. As you can see, I'm so excited about this. But like, I'm just so, I just feel like I've been so blessed through this whole process. Like, so, so blessed. So, I'm super grateful. I'm just super grateful. So, I just got back from getting my books. Um, I am so excited y'all that I said that earlier that I um, paid $60 but I paid $80 total and I got like older versions and thank God I asked my professors like is it okay if we can have older versions of the books and they said it was fine so so right now I'm just going over um, the notes in my lecture uh, making sure that I kind of like understand everything and then I just have one reading assignment to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm like setting my little vibe, my little study vibe. All right, so good morning guys. Um, today is day three of my um nursing school virtual nursing school i just got prepared i just like got on my blackboard checked um to see if there was anything i had to print out which i do and i'm about to print that out actually and then i got um collaborate up blackboard collaborate just so i can be ready which they're in progress now but the class doesn't start until 8 30. so i will um go on there in a few minutes but I'm about to print out our group exercise that was on there. And today we are gonna be talking about vital signs. I'm pretty prepared. 
for this class. Yesterday, I wasn't prepared for the first class. I mean, I was, but I didn't finish my readings. It was just so long, like so long. So, I'm being a good student today. Now we're about to get on for our second session. Y'all, my hair is like, I don't know what's going on. But we're about to get on for our second lecture for therapeutic communication. And um, I actually did not even like read for that because it literally said we were only doing nursing profession today. And now like she ended class and she's like, yeah, so now you're about to get on for therapeutic communication. And I did not take notes on that. Like this is what I mean by just like unorganized because now I feel like I'm like behind because I didn't take notes on it. I mean, I'm gonna take notes in class and she's gonna record the lecture, which is good, but like I like to be prepared and I like to take my own notes and then that way I can just like take extra notes if I missed anything. And like, see, see, this is what I'm talking about. Let's, the schedule literally said just nursing as a profession. But whatever, it's cool. I'm just gonna go back after the lecture is over and take notes. I'm gonna take notes from the class. I'm just gonna do it opposite. Take notes from the class and then go back and read and take my own notes. <sighs> Y'all, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just show you guys all like um, me, like, you know, what I've been doing all week. And then I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about it after, today's actually the last of my vlog. It's the last class of this week. So I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about it about nursing school already so it's just the first week though so okay guys so i am now this is the last day of my classes for the week i am finishing up my first week of nursing school vlog um, it was a really, really long week. This whole week was nothing but me taking notes, um, just doing my readings, and just showing up for class. Um, this is the life of virtual learning. So, um, I did talk to you guys a little bit throughout the video, but I didn't, again, I didn't want to make the video super, super long. So, I just kind of wanted to give you like a glimpse of how it was. So, now I just want to let you guys know how my week went and how I feel. So for one, orientation was so long. It was from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Either 4.30 p.m. or 4 p.m. It was so long. We got two breaks and the breaks was like, maybe like 30 minute breaks. And um, so I was so tired that first day. It was just so weird. Like I was nervous and I don't know why I was nervous because it was not in person it was like virtually so but um it actually wasn't like as bad as i thought like i was nervous but it wasn't as bad as i thought because once like we after our first break i already got some clarification so before the orientation i just had so many questions like so many questions and then once we had um orientation after the first part of it I kind of got a lot more clarification and I realized that I was not the only one that was super confused. Everybody else was confused too. And they had like basically the same questions as me. So a lot of them uh, asked questions and then the teachers answered it. So um, I got some clarification on that. And then also I got some clarification on whether we can buy older model older versions of the books or not and the teacher said it was okay um to buy older versions of the book thank god because my books had to be like over a thousand dollars and i basically got them for like eighty dollars for one i think i shouted her out earlier in the video but shout out to my girl kim she basically gave me half of the books that i needed like she was just like here you can have them i'm i'm done she graduated already um and then I also bought, I met this girl on um, like text, textbook exchange um, group. And then like I met her on there and she had like the rest of my books for like $80. She gave them to me. She gave them to me $20 a piece. So I bought them for $80. So I was like, oh my God, like, I'm super grateful for that because I was not trying to pay um, 
over a thousand dollars for some nursing school books and then i heard that you don't even really use them but i just like to be prepared um sometimes i feel like if a teacher didn't answer my question i can just go in a book and try to um you know look for it or if i see something in the book that i feel like is not really clear i'll just ask the teacher about it so um but thank God I did get the books because I noticed that after the lectures this week, they really, really encourage you to do reading so, and be prepared for the lecture. So that's basically what I did and that's all you see me, got, see me doing is the readings and like taking notes. And then once um, we get online, they have like the PowerPoint up as well and then I just kind of add anything else that the teacher is saying. So I took a lot of notes, like this actually has me nervous for the first exam because like it's a lot of notes and it's a lot that I have to remember so I'm like a little bit nervous but I'm just gonna get on studying so um it's kind of sucks because the lab days like we would typically be doing hands-on work so we had the vital signs lab and we had the assessment lab and I really wish we were in class doing those because then we would get the practice that we need so now we have to practice assessments at home and I'm still not really too sure of everything I need for my assessment. So I'm going to try to look in the book or every question that I have to ask for like the nursing interview. So I'm going to try to look in the book and um, try to get that done. But yeah, I don't know. Like I'm a little bit nervous, but I feel like, I, you know, I'll be fine, whatever. So then um i also we also had our vital signs lab and that's just like teaching you how to take vital signs count respirations count pulse um measure your blood pressure with a manual cuff so things like that which as a patient care tech i take vital signs all day long so i'm pretty used to taking temperatures and measuring pulse and measuring respirations but we don't do manual blood pressure so we do um we use the automated like machines that we you know roll around with us to take our blood pressures but the nurses only the nurses are allowed to do manual blood pressure so um i don't know maybe one of my coworkers would like to um let me practice on <laughs> on them for the manual cuff uh the manual blood pressure i keep saying like i wish we were in class i wish we were in class but i know that everybody's doing like well not everybody almost almost everyone is doing online virtual classes so i just want to let you guys know that like it's very very tough but it's not the ending so this it, like we will be back in class like this will be over eventually and i just want to like encourage you guys to just you know realize that like even though it's online or virtual you're still that much closer to your goal so if you're in high school you're still that much closer to graduation like regardless you are getting your credits and you are getting your it'll be graduation so you just gotta like think about that angle while you're in class so i know it's tough but we got it we got this y'all um hopefully next week doesn't kick my behind um i still have to get a few things um like i have to get the nursing kit which has like our iv fluids and our iv kits um in there but i feel like we're probably not gonna need them oh another thing is we meet only two days out of two days out of this whole semester so each of us we get two days on campus in the lab out of the whole semester so it's like i'm grateful that we actually do get to be in class um and learn but like i'm probably gonna really really take advantage of that because i feel like that's gonna be the only time we get like actual practice in the in the lab um but yeah like i feel like i kind of covered everything i really really hope this video is not so long because i'm starting to like dread long long videos because i know me like i just can't sit here and watch a long video um like i'm i just can't i'll skip over stuff and i don't want you guys to skip my video so <laughs> I'm gonna close up this vlog now. I have to work in the morning, so I'm gonna be out, guys. I still have so many surprising things to tell you, so make sure, make sure you follow me on Instagram, guys. Follow, I'm gonna put links to my Instagram and my social media down in the description box, and make sure you follow them because I have some exciting news, like super exciting news, and I'm so anxious and I can't keep it in but I'm gonna keep it in. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like my videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching.